Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on solving equations by adding or subtracting. Here's what you'll learn. How to solve one-step equations by using addition or subtraction. The goal in solving equations is to find a solution. If your equation contains a variable or a letter, you're trying to solve for the value of that variable. And to solve for a variable, you must isolate the variable. That means we want to get the variable by itself on one side of the equation. Your equation should end up looking like this. The variable equals a number. For example, p equals 16. Now, let's look at the following equation. y plus 17 equals 25. Now, you can probably figure out that y is 8 in this equation because 8 plus 17 is 25. It's very simple. But, Let's look at how we solve this simple problem for the variable y. Then we can apply the same method to more complicated problems. Our goal is to end up with an equation that reads y equals a number. We want to have the y by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. That means we have to get rid of or cancel out any numbers on the same side of the equation. In this case, we only have one number, and we need to cancel out 17. We can do that by performing the opposite, or inverse, operation using the number we're trying to eliminate. Now, take a look at the equation again. What operation is being performed between the y and the 17? If you said addition, you're correct. That means we have to subtract 17 to remove it from that side of the equation. So let's go ahead and put subtract or minus 17 on the same side there, right under the 17. Subtracting 17 from a plus or a positive 17 effectively cancels the 17, because 17 minus 17 gives us 0. Now let's bring down the y from up above. And we have y plus 0 on the left. And y plus 0, of course, is just y. So we've now isolated the variable y all by itself on the left. But we need to keep our equation balanced. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. And since we subtracted 17 from the left side, we need to also subtract 17 from the right side. So let's put minus 17 over there and do the math. 25 minus 17 is 8. So y equals 8. Now if we want to make sure our answer is correct, we can check it. The original equation was y plus 17 equals 25. All we have to do is replace y in the original equation with what we think the answer is, 8, and ask ourselves, is 8 plus 17 equal to 25? And sure enough, we know 8 plus 17 is 25. If both sides equal, that makes our answer correct. We know y has to be 8. Let's solve this equation. k minus 12 equals 33 and check our answer. First, we should write down the equation. k minus 12 equals 33. In order to isolate the variable k, we need to cancel out the 12. What operation is being performed with the 12? That's right, the 12 is being subtracted. So to remove the 12 from that side, we need to perform the opposite or inverse operation using 12, which is addition. So let's add 12 to both sides now. We have to do that to keep our equation balanced. So we'll put plus 12 on the left and plus 12 on the right. And the 12 now is canceled out on the left side, because a minus 12 plus 12, or a negative 12 plus 12, gives us a 0. And on the right side, 33 plus 12 is 45. So we'll write that down on the right-hand side. Now the left side only contains our variable k. So let's bring the k down to the next line of our solution. And the right side only has the number 45, so let's bring that down. And there's our answer. k equals 45. Finally, though, let's check our answer, make sure we're right. 
Replace k in the original equation with 45. So I can write down 45 minus 12. Does that equal 33? And sure enough, 45 minus 12 is 33. So both sides equal each other. We know our answer has to be correct. Let's do another one. Solve the equation a plus 27 equals 95 and check your answer again. First, let's write down the equation a plus 27 equals 95. In order to isolate the variable a, we need to cancel out the 27. So what operation is being performed with the 27? Correct. Addition. The 27 is being added. So to remove the 27 from that side, we need to perform the opposite or inverse operation using 27, which is subtraction. So let's subtract 27 from both sides to keep our equation balanced. Write down minus 27 on the left, minus 27 on the right. And now the 27 is canceled out on the left side because 27 minus 27 is 0. And on the right side, 95 minus 27 is 68. Now the left side only contains our variable a, so let's bring that down into our solution. And the right side only has the number 68. So that's our answer. A equals 68. Let's take it one step further and make sure that's the right answer. We can check it by replacing A in the original equation with 68. So we'll write down 68 plus 27 does that equal 95. And in fact, 68 plus 27 does equal 95. Both sides are 95. Now we're sure A is 68. Let's solve the equation 300 equals 161 plus M. First, let's write down the equation. 300 equals 161 plus our M. Now, in this case, our variable M is on the right side of the equal sign. Now, that's OK. It really doesn't matter what side the variable is located on. But for consistency, let's go ahead and move it to the left side, since I've been doing all of the problems with the variable on the left side. And it's really easy to do. Here's how we do that. Take everything from the right side and move it to the left side. Now, don't change any operations or the order of the terms. Just pick it all up, grab it, and move it just like this. So that's everything from the right side. Now move to the left. Then take everything from the left side and move it to the right side. And it's as simple as that. You're all done and ready to solve for m with m on the left-hand side. Now, in order to isolate the variable m, though, we have to cancel out 161. Now, the number 161 is a positive number because there's no sign in front of it. And when there's no sign, it's a positive number. So for clarification, let's go ahead and add a positive sign in front of the 161. We can also read positive 161 as plus 161. And plus 161 means it's an addition problem. So if positive 161 is addition, what operation will undo adding? That's right, subtraction. So we're going to subtract 161 from both sides of the equation to keep the equation balanced. So minus 161 on the left, minus 161 on the right. Now the 161 is canceled out on the left because 161 minus 161 is 0. And on the right side, 300 minus 161 is 139, so we'll write that down. Now the left side only contains our variable m, so let's pull that down to the next line of our solution. And the right side only has the number 139, so guess what? The answer is m equals 139. Now, of course, you can check your answer if you'd like by substituting 139 for m in the original equation and then verify that both sides equal 300. Let's do one final example and make it a word problem. LeBron James scored 56 points in one game against the Toronto Raptors. The entire team scored a total of 98 points in that game. How many points did the rest of his teammates score? Well, first we have to turn the words in the problem into an equation. 
The total team points for the game was 98. And total means equals. So we can write down to start our equation equals 98. Now the team total is comprised of LeBron's points plus the points scored by the rest of the team. So we're going to add two numbers together. So let's put a plus sign on the left side of our equation as we build our equation. And we know LeBron James scored 56 points in that game. It tells us in the problem. So write that number on the left side as part of the total number of points. And let's use P for the number of points scored by the rest of the team since this is the number that's unknown to us. So we're going to add 56 and P together on the left hand side. Now that we have our equation we can solve for P the number of points scored by the rest of the team. To isolate the variable P we need to cancel out the 56. We do that by subtracting 56 from both sides to keep the equation balanced. So let's write down minus 56 on the left and minus 56 on the right. Now the 56 is canceled out on the left side because 56 minus 56 is 0, correct. And on the right side we just do 98 minus 56 and that gives us the answer of 42. Now the left side only contains our variable P. Let's pull that down into the next line of our solution. And the right side only has the number 42. So that means the answer is P equals 42. But it's a word problem so let's write the answer in words. The rest of the team scored 42 points. Again if you'd like to check your answer simply substitute 42 for P in your original equation and verify that both sides equal 98. Congratulations! You learned how to solve equations by adding and subtracting.